Hello there, everyone. My name is Ray, and today we are here to play some more Tales of Berseria post-game part number six. Thank you for doing for today's episode. Let's get the expedition out of the way real quick. Two losses and a win. Not a very good way to start, but we did get the glowing gear. Curious gear found on Crescent Island. Apparently, its movement cannot be stopped, but a special spear can destroy it. Why the hell would we want to? Ex All right, that's fine. Yo, yo, ho, ho. We got all kinds of good shit right now. All right, so last episode we finished off Rogue Girl's side quest, and I spoiled the fact that the enemy that we fought at the end was Rogue Girl's mother before he said it, right before he said it too. So I screwed that up royally. But um, now that we're done with that, we're actually gonna go to Marishio. Doesn't matter what entrance or exit we go in. And we're gonna go over there to that exclamation point bubble to let us know something's going on. Uh, did this one spawn back again? It did. Grimoire, what's up? Go and see with your own two eyes. That's the only way to learn the truth about our world. What? I mean, I understand what she said, obviously, but what was it? Doesn't matter. Talk to me. Kamawana's come down with a fever. What? I've been tending to her, but it just won't go away. She just keeps mumbling over and over about how she doesn't want to take her mom's medicine. Kamawana. We've heard her talk about her mom's medicine before, haven't we? I gather that it's something her mom used to make her take whenever she came down with a cold. It might be something specific. If there's any left, it would be back at her old house in Haria, right? Probably. I don't know if it'll work now that she's at Therian, but I'll go and try to find it. You'll do no such thing. I'm sorry, but the Abbey's still looking for you, and there's no way I'm about to hand you over. Don't try to stop me, Velvet. Look, we'll go to Haria. You stay here and take care of Kamoana. Eleanor. Velvet, if you try to fight Medissa, it won't end well. And I would back her up, too. Look, if we have time to argue about this, we have time to go find that medicine ourselves. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank you. Eleanor, why are you going so far out of your way for Kamawana? After my mother was taken from me, I found myself an orphan of the Abbey. I grew up figuring that I'd probably become a nun and spend my life in mourning. But on the night of the advent, my inner resonance awakened. I honestly believed that I had been given the power to change the world for the better, you know? Less sorrow, less suffering. But even after I donned the mantle of the exorcists, I was still pathetic, full of ideals, but so ignorant of the way things really work. That ignorance is what drove me to go after Mahina and take her away from Kamoana. I can't change the past. But at the very least, I can atone. I'd do anything to give her a chance. <sighs> All right, then. She's in your hands. We'll be as quick as we can. What? What was that I just felt? Lottie said? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just... I don't know how to explain it, but I sensed something, and it wasn't good. It's like something dark dug itself into my chest. Eleanor's the same as always, right, Rokuro? Nothing different? Yeah, same old fired up Eleanor. At least, that's what she projects. I like how the subtitles didn't match at all. And it's really weird. How did, um, what's her face think that she was gonna go over there and get that anyway? Let's talk to this chump real quick. If your reward trust you folks to deliver, you're an inspiration to all us all. Yes, 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 holy crap. 152,500 for completing 24 Code Red Hunts in addition to the Shrieking Demonic Bat. Now, I obviously haven't turned in any of that crap. And now, as you can see, it won't let us go anywhere. Um... Which is weird, because if we could just warp to Yasalt, but I'm pretty sure we have a cutscene or something like that. Um, once we leave the city. Because you see it won't even let us, if you look at the map on the right side, it's grayed out. It won't let us go back that way either. Yeah, 
It doesn't want us to just warp. I think we have to go back to the ship. There might be a cutscene in this city as well. I have no freaking idea, to be honest with you. They said Haria. And to get there, we have to go back to Yasalt. But I guess they're going to make us take a boat there. For cinematic purposes, I guess it makes sense. But considering that we have these, and we could just warp over there. One thing I don't get, though, is why it won't let us go to the east entrance to Mercio. I mean, I know that that was great. I wouldn't let us go over there, but that just doesn't make any sense. I guess they don't want you to go doing any other nonsense. I don't know. No. Assault! I see, like, even this takes us straight here. So why we couldn't warp here is a little odd to me. Although, of course, it doesn't matter. How's everybody doing, by the way? I haven't asked any of you guys that in a while. I think if we come down here, that one herb should have respawned by now. Good God, I hope so. No, it doesn't look like it. I really have no idea how to get the herbs to respawn. I know it's... Well, based off what I've been told, it's pretty much every time you pick up an herb. Once you've picked up 50 herbs total, every time you pick up an herb, one randomly respawns somewhere. I thought there was something over here we could get. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay. Yeah, I was I was pretty sure there had to be something over here that we didn't get yet. Anyway. Hmm. It's kind of... Are we supposed to... No. I'm not going to mess with it. Let's go back this way. Make ourselves all of the progress. This is, this is, I guess, why they wouldn't let us go. Because once we get over there, there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene. Uh, this way. A little bit of a cutscene. I don't think any of these cutscenes are too terribly long. Conversation. Hey, if you were thinking of going this way, you should reconsider. And why is that? A real nasty demon's taking root up in Haria Village. It's a huge troll with a big old club. And this isn't the first village the brood has taken out. Did you say a troll? You didn't happen to hear if the troll was wearing a large jewel, did you? Yeah. I hear the greedy beast's been going around stealing all sorts of treasure. It's a demon. Oh. <laughs> now to let us warp to your salt, because that makes sense. How the hell was us using the boat? I mean, I guess it would have had us come here. Yeah, okay. Having us go to Yassault would have started us out here. And then we could have just completely skipped that, I guess. I don't know. If you guys could not tell, this is going to be Eleanor's side quest for today's video. Once this is over, we're going to end this video because I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be 30 minutes, though. You've gone pale. What's wrong? That's racist. I, I'm fine. It's nothing. If you say so. Hey, Luffy sets your partner. You realize that he can probably sense your worries? I don't care if you keep secrets from the rest of us. You should at least be straight with him. You're right, Rokuro. I should. I'm sorry, Luffy said. That's okay. I don't know how much help I could be anyway. Well, having someone listen would be help plenty. I think the demon that Bloodwing mentioned could be one that attacked my village. Is that when you got your scar? It was when a group of giant trolls descended on our home. They were after a jewel housed in our shrine. A jewel called Eleanor. Same name as you. It means light. I like how little he looks like he gives a shit. Even when in total darkness, it gave its blessings upon our village. And in turn, we safeguarded it for generations. During the attack... My mother and I fled with the jewel to keep it from falling into the demon's hands. But we didn't get far. I got hurt, and my mother... She... used the jewel to draw their attention away from me. She died, protecting me. I see. So if the demon possesses this Eleanor jewel, you'll know it attacked your village. And that it's responsible for your mother's death. Exactly. If you want vengeance, I've got your back. It sounds like this one will put up a fight. But you know Velvet. She doesn't like us calling the shots. Knock yourselves out. If there's one thing I can connect with, it's wanting revenge. Just so we're clear, this thing isn't the reason I joined the Exorcists. 
this thing. You talk of avenging your family, and it's just this thing. My mother said, stay strong and keep living. As she lay dying, she begged me to survive. And I want to be that person. I want to be strong. Right now, my first priority is to find Kamoana's medicine. That's all I'm saying. Hey, whatever. It's none of my business. But I better not hear you complaining if I end up devouring that demon first. Got it? I have to be strong. I have to be strong. For Kamoana. And my mother. Did that weird feeling just come back? Yeah. I don't understand how malevolence works in this game. Well, in general, in this game and Hysteria, the two games that so far, maybe they've got malevolence in other games too, I don't know. Uh, but the two games that I've played that they mentioned malevolence in, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand how it works because they say, like, in Zysteria, it, it's kind of like the Kingdom Hearts thing where they have the rules in one game and they kind of change it for the next. But in Zysteria, it was that so long as you truly believed that what you were doing was right, you would not produce any malevolence, whether what you were doing was evil or not. That's why certain characters in that game who were really messed up, when you, we were actually the good guys in that one, not a bunch of demons and Molokin going around breaking and blowing stuff up. Hiccup, excuse me. You, uh, you go around... And you find these people who are actually like mean and evil and whatever, but they didn't produce any malevolence because they truly believed in what they were doing. I'm not so those demons we heard about. Let's look for the medicine while we can. If she truly does believe, I guess that means that she doesn't truly believe it. She's trying to force hey, herself into it. This is what we're looking for. I if she so. truly believes that she has to be strong for her mother There's and Kamawana, shouldn't she be too. fine? I don't know. Is it instructions on how to prepare the medicine? No, it's more like directions on how to administer it. This medicine is extremely bitter. Kamoana hates taking it. If she develops a fever while I'm away, you need to do specific things to get her to take it. There are three ways. wearing a jewel that's it that's eleanor then this must be what killed eleanor ah! oh eleanor go give her some help <laughs> i like the belly slap this is a big mother trucker What was this dude? 64. Okay. Remember the first time I came here, I actually had a little bit of trouble with this dude because he's kind of tough. Now, maybe. Go. No, he's already in the. God damn it. Stop! Nobody cares. Stop! He's gonna stand there just beating the ground like a complete and total genius because that's the way it works. Combat, my dude. Get him. There we go. I did it. I finally did it, Mom. <sighs> Eleanor? I just... I don't know how to feel. I wanted this so badly. Vengeance. Sure. It makes sense. This is what's been driving you. I suppose you're right. But if this is truly a part of me, I can't help but empathize with Kamoana. If she ever found out the truth of what I did to her mother, I know exactly how she'd feel. She'd want to kill me. I... I don't know about... It's only natural. You said so yourself. I can't stand it. It's eating me up inside. I keep telling myself I did it for her own sake, but I... I've just been lying. I'm horrible. If Kamoana ever attacked me, maybe I'd end up killing her too. Just to save my own worthless skin. 
That's not who you are. It is exactly who I am. And besides, Kamawan is only alive because she ate her own mother. I have a hard time believing that any salvation awaits someone like her. Ah, oh, of course. I get it now. You've been carrying this pain for a long time. My mother told me to stay strong and keep living. I'm only here right now because she sacrificed her life. And yet, I'm selfish. Pathetic. I'm so, so sorry, Kamuata. <laughs> mother! This is bad. She's exuding malevolence. No! Don't try to carry the burden all by your... If we don't do something, Lafayette's going to lose his vessel. It's fine. Let her spill it all out. Imbecile! Without a vessel, he'll turn into a dragon! All hell will break loose! Method one, wrap the medicine in sweet starch paper. This only works about half the time. Usually, she just eats the paper and spits the medicine back at you. Method two, mix it in with her meals without telling her. It tends to make the food bitter. They think she's catching on. It's gotten harder to trick her and she may refuse to eat. Method three, pinch her nose and force her to swallow it. But be very careful. She will struggle and try to bite. You don't want to lose a finger. Is this really the time? Is that... That note you found? Yes. It's the one Mahina left with her daughter's medicine. Her duties must have often taken her away. Someone else had to watch Kamoana. Her fevers are caused by mental distress, but for some reason she believes that these bitter berries are medicine. If she takes one, her mind will stop racing and she will calm down. I realize that this is an awful lot to ask, but please, I love her very much. Please make sure that she takes her medicine, no matter what you have to do. She can be awfully stubborn, but deep down, she's just a kind-hearted girl who's very, very lonely. Please, please do what you can for her. I can't thank you enough for your help. I didn't realize that her mother was... so... <laughs> yeah, it looks like her mom had a bit of a forceful streak with her, doesn't it? Nobody's a saint in this world, not even our own mothers. If they need to, they'll lie and use force. You do absolutely whatever it takes to protect your child. The resolve to protect your child. Well, Eleanor, have you calmed down now? Yes. I apologize for my behavior. So, what are you going to do? Now that you've been asked by both Medissa and Kamoana's mom. I guess... No. I'll make sure she takes the medicine. I swear, she will get better. Do whatever you feel you need to. Alright, get a move on, guys. Let's hurry back to Kamoana. Fee, are you holding up okay under the malevolence? I'm fine. It's Eleanor I'm worried about. She'll manage. That woman takes no half measures. Not with life, not with malevolence, and not with fighting to overcome it. She will get through this. That's just who she is. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew why, um... The late part of the game, so many of the freaking uh, subtitles are just off. Sometimes they're kind of close, sometimes they're not even remotely similar. Bad news, guys. What? Are you molting? This is serious. Kamoana's gone delirious from her fever. She turned into a Therian and went crazy. Where's Medissa? She used herself as bait to lure Kamoana away and keep anyone here from getting hurt. They look like they were headed for Mount Killerouse, but I'm not sure how long Medissa will be able to hold out. We need to go after them. Are you all right with me taking the lead? Yes. Go ahead. Well, I mean, Kamawana isn't as strong as Medissa. 
The only reason Medissa would have a problem holding out is because she's not gonna beat her. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe she, maybe I should just shut up. But anyway, that's not possible because I'm doing this this whole uh, video recording LP shit. So I need to talk. Go away! As I'm yelling in the middle of a video because I'm absolutely 100 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent professional. What the hell is a percent? I'm sure I'll, I'm sure somebody will tell me. Actually, this video is not going to be nearly as short as I thought it was. I do believe this is the last part, though. That stupid boss troll was huge. Well, most of these guys... Never mind. That doesn't make any sense. I take it back. All the enemies are gone, too. I'm guessing since uh, Kamawana's in Ethereum form right now, maybe she ate all of these guys. I don't know. I wish they had come up with a different uh, design for her. You know, just for the fact that there's another code red hunt that we can find in this game that looks exactly like her and is not a Therian at all. It's just a stronger demon. Kamawana, honey. You're hungry, right? It's okay. You can eat me if you need to. If it means you'll go back to your sweet, normal self. Moana, I've got your mom's medicine right here. You're lying! It's true. Your mom heard you had a fever, so she sent us this medicine to give to you. No! I hate it! It tastes so bitter! It's okay. It's not bitter. Your mom figured out a way to make it sweet, just for you. I don't believe you! You're lying! It's true. Here, see? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's still bitter. You lied to me. I know, I know. I'm really sorry, Kamalana. But I had to. Kamawana's fever has finally broken. She seems to be sleeping soundly. Well, that's one crisis averted. Eleanor, I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. I was just following your example. You're really prepared to pull out all the stops for her, aren't you? I am. I don't know how this will all end up, but it just feels like the right way. I may be weak, but as long as I can stay true to myself and live life as fully as I can, I figure my mom will maybe understand. You already seem pretty strong to me, Eleanor. Seriously? What could ever make you think that? It's the parts you don't think about that are the strongest. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> A mother's not ever going to be that hard on her child, no matter how they turn out. Mothers just want their children to be well and to live a happy life. I'm sure that's what yours meant for you. You think? Sounds right to me. If you ever become a mom yourself, you'll understand. I can't say I plan on it right now, but duly noted. Eleanor! What's wrong? Why is your face all red? Is it? It's just... uh... you see... We're just having a little girl talk amongst ourselves. You're free to join if you like, though. What? Um, no thanks. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have teased him so much there. I may not be a mother, but I think I do understand. When I'm around Lothiset and Kamoana, strong or weak, level-headed or a little lost, it doesn't matter. All kids deserve to have a good life. Except for those who don't. I hate Kamoana's voice. It's the last time I'm going to mention it, I swear, even though probably not. Anyway, I would love to keep going. What the hell? Go away. I would love to keep going, but uh, no, I can't because I've got a bike ride to get to. So, thank you all for watching as always. My name is Ray, and I will see you all next time for Tales of Berseria post-game part number 7. But until then, goodbye everybody.